In this video, I explained pressure compounding. In the last video, I already explained what is the compounding and why the compounding is required. Okay. So why compounding is required? Compounding is generally used to reduce the speed of the turbine. So in a impulse turbine means in a impulse turbine only one rotor are there. And when we use the one rotors, at that time the turbine speed is the 30,000 rpm. Okay, and the generator is run at the 3000 or a 3.6000 rpm means to reduce the speed of the turbine we are used the various types of the compounding okay so that is the three types of the compounding pressure velocity and pressure velocity compounding so here i explained the pressure compounding so in a this type of turbine the total pressure drop is divided into number of stages okay now what is the total pressure drop so we know that the inlet of the turbine is connected with the boiler okay so in a boiler outlet the pressure is very high means at the inlet of the turbine the pressure is very high okay and in a turbine expansion process is going on so during this expansion the pressure is reduced means the pressure is drop and the outlet of the turbine is connected with the condenser okay so that is a pressure drop is from the boiler pressure to the condenser pressure so here you see i written pressure drop in bracket steam generator pressure means boiler pressure to the condenser pressure means steam pressure is reduced from boiler pressure to the condenser pressure in a number of stages means it is divided into number of stages okay so in a impulse turbine only one rotor is used so boiler pressure to the condenser pressure is achieved only in a one rotor means in a single stage okay but in a various types of the compounding this pressure is reduce in a number of stages okay so each turbine stage is provided with a one row of fixed plate which work as a nozzle okay means we use the fixed plate and the fixed blade is called as the nozzle and it is followed by row of a moving blade as shown in this figure now here you see first the steam is enter in the nozzle okay then after here moving blade is coming then after nozzles then after moving blades and then after nozzles okay so this nozzle is mounted in the casing means this is the outer parts of the turbine it is called as the casing okay so when we remove the casing the fixed nozzles are coming out means the fixed blades are coming out okay that's why its name is given the fixed blade because they are fixed on the casing okay and in between this nozzle that is a moving blades are provided so here you see this blue color part is the moving blades okay why they are moving because they are installed on the turbine shafts okay so when the steam is strike to these moving blades at that time the moving blade is start to rotate and when the moving blade is start to rotate this turbine shaft is rotated and the shaft of the turbine is connected with the generator and the electricity is produced okay so in a impulse turbine only one set are there so this uh, one nozzle and one moving blade is called as the one stage okay but here you see there is a total three stages are there so number of stages is depend on the capacity of the power plant capacity of the steam turbines okay so there is a 10 to 15 stages also possible but in this diagram we only draw the various three three stages okay so first stage is the nozzle then moving blade so this is first stage in a second stage again the nozzle moving blade this is second stage this is a third stage that is a nozzle and this is the moving blades now this is the complete diagram okay so in this upper part that is the combinations of the nozzle and moving blades turbine sub so this same diagram is also coming in this bottom parts because these are the rotating components but we only draw in the upper part of the sub okay so at the bottom of the sub that is the same portions are there okay and here we draw one additional diagram this is the nozzle so here you see the, here the nozzle are there okay so this is the nozzles okay so here we can return it is the nozzle n n is indicate the nozzle this orange portion is the moving blades so here we return it is the m m and m okay and this last diagram is for the pressure and velocity that i explain later on steam enters the first row of nozzle where it suffers a partial drop of pressure and its result of that its velocity is increased okay so we already know that in the nozzle pressure is reduced and the velocity is increased okay so here you see this first part it is the nozzle okay and here you see this is the boiler pressure okay from this bottom point we can indicate it is the boiler pressure and this partial pressure is reduced why it is the partial pressure because here you see this is the condenser pressures okay 
so pressure in the nozzle is not directly reduced from the boiler pressure to condenser pressure that's why here we mention it is a partial drop of pressures okay so in the nozzle pressure is reduced and here you see this is the initial steam velocity at this point and this velocity of the steam is increased okay then after this high velocity steam is supplied into this moving plates okay so here i written the high velocity steam passes on to the first row of moving blades where its velocity is reduced as shown in these figures okay so here you see this is the moving blades and in this moving blade this pressure is remains constant but this velocity is reduced why this velocity is reduced because when the steam is strike to the moving blade moving blade is start to rotate means the sum of the kinetic energy is utilized that's why the velocity of the steam is reduced then after the steam is passes into the second row of the nozzle means here this first row is over means first stage is complete okay then after it is called as the second row of the nozzle where its pressure is again partially reduced and the velocity is again increase okay so in the nozzle we already know that pressure is reduced here you see this pressure line is going down and this velocity line is increased because the velocity is increased then after the steam is again supplied to the second row of the moving blades means the high velocity steam passes from the nozzle to the second row of the moving blades where its velocity is again reduced so here you see this is the second row of the moving blades here pressure is constant and the velocity is reduced okay then after it is again supplied to the third stage and the same process is carried out okay so this is suppose five stages are there then the same process is going on okay same process means in the nozzle pressure is reduced velocity is increased and in the moving blades pressure is constant velocity is reduced and at the final stage we achieved this is the at the outlet condenser pressures and here it is the lost velocity because this velocity is supplied to the condensers so thus pressure drop takes place in a successive stages since a partial drop of pressure takes place in the each stage the steam velocity will not be so high with the effect that the turbine will run slower okay means the in a different stages we are reduce the partial pressure and at the last it's reached to the condenser pressure now before moving towards the advantages and disadvantages of the pressure compounding i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering or other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering where is link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now what is the advantages of the pressure compounding the first advantage the pressure compounding is quite efficient means its efficiency are good second advantage it has constant blade velocity to steam velocity ratio means the blade velocity divided by steam velocities are constant throughout the various stages and what is the disadvantages of this pressure compounding it need more space since the high number of stages are required okay means high number of stages means the more nozzles and the more moving blades are requires second disadvantage its initial cost is the high compared to the impulse turbines or a other types of the compounding so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends